Good morning, boys and girls, children of all ages, yep. everybody watching, yep. folks at home. Uh, what a day. What a day. We love Fridays. Yes. Adam Schalf with Joseph Williams. Joseph, thank you so much for joining me in the studio. Feel free to invite me anytime, man. Feel free to invite me anytime. Well, you know, I, I love having you in and I love talking about fall colors. I yeah. feel like I say this almost every time uh, lately, but this truly is my favorite time of year. And we're just starting to see some beautiful uh, foliage as we get ready to transition into October. Yeah, it's the perfect season to go. I like paint a picture or whatever you like to do over the weekend. In Ooh, my I case, that. Paint well, some you, paint colors? either that or take some photos. Sure. And send, sure. Them, and send them to Valley News Live while you're at and it. And if you, if you do make a painting, send a picture of the painting. Because I'm yeah. sure we'd love to see that too. Uh, don't leave us be with that, right? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. He's got puns, folks. He'll Absolutely. will be here all weekend. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Literally. I have to work this weekend. So yeah, anyway. So you wanted to know what we're seeing so far regarding foliage, right? Yeah, absolutely. So just as we're near peak, technically speaking, and so far we're in the yellow colors. That indicates around average peaking taking place, mostly near the Red River Valley, for instance, east western half of Lakes Country, northern half of Minnesota too, and in eastern Minnesota as well. So some areas are starting to see their fall colors uh, coming through, but other areas like central Minnesota, not so much. Uh, so some areas are trying to get that color, but other areas not so much currently. And so just to reference the map key, yeah, if we will, uh, so it looks like once we get kind of that near peak, we're gonna start to see some of these reds. When do you think that'll come? I think it won't start coming until mid-October, and okay. there are a couple of reasons for that. So we had a wet spring, and that led to some funguses affecting trees in parts of Minnesota, and I would suspect in parts of North Dakota too. So that can affect fall colors. Mostly day length affects fall colors, right? But things like precipitation and temperature do the same thing. In a case, we had a wet spring, a hot summer, and then a pretty warm September, all of which can affect fall colors here. So I suspect it may not be until mid-October that we start to see some of those reds trying to push into our region. Okay, and so then we're, we're still, it's getting pretty out there. Yeah. Maybe about another three, four weeks before we're seeing yeah. the real, real peak and pop. That's, that's right. And just to give you some context, normally we see peak colors in early October, so we get a little bit later in peak color compared to average for this time of year. Okay. But we are going to be keeping an eye on that, though. Well, very good, very good. And this looks like this is, uh, so for the whole country here. Yeah. No, for the whole country, you wouldn't see like peak colors in the southern U.S. until mid-November, and that's because temperatures start getting low enough for those colors to start dropping there. Okay. Meanwhile, you would have already started seeing peak colors in the Rockies okay. in late September. Let's play a fun little game here. So yeah. I got... Uh where, where where do you got some family members who might be seeing some foliage? So you're, you're from Indiana. There's yeah. So they're kind of waiting for that uh, late October, early November. Yeah. I got some family members over here. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Yep, over here. And so I think we're, they're kind of they, starting to see some stuff. They should here. already be seeing that, yes. Very good. And then my sister out in California, she's still got a ways to wait. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. But uh, unless she lives in like the mountains of California. Okay. Yeah, not nothing yet, nothing yet. Okay, that's fun. It's fun to see this map and just kind of see. And then, you know, poor Florida. They yeah. just don't get any. Yeah, pretty much. They they're, get, they're warm all the time. Yeah. They're hot all the time. You know, and sometimes too hot. Yeah. Sometimes too, too hot. Oh, yeah. Well, at least, but at least we're not seeing that heat here. Yeah, So absolutely. that's that's the good news. Um, but I guess you also, we were talking a little bit before this, and you were asking about locations, too. Yeah, yeah, let's get into so, some of those good locations. So let's go back to this graphic. Uh, the gist is, I think one of the best places to go would be like in northeastern North Dakota, northwestern Minnesota, somewhere around like Kitson County. Okay. Maybe like Lake Bronson in Kitson County. Either that or Pemina Gorge okay. in Pemina County, North Dakota. That would be a couple of just just a couple of examples on the top of my head uh, where you would want to go if you wanted to start seeing fall colors this upcoming weekend. And then you can kind of plan some trips too over the next few weekends when they might really start peaking. But uh, good information to know. Yeah. Appreciate that. Very Speaking good. of the weekend, let me get to the weekend forecast really quickly. 
going to be pretty warm being in the 80s, mostly sunny skies. It's going to be feeling like summertime this weekend. So if you love the 80s, this is great. Plenty of sunshine. Definitely go out and try to at least observe some fall color if you can, especially in the northern half of our region this weekend. Excellent. Looks like it's going to be a great uh, weekend. We'll have more talk about the weekend later on the weekend. Funcast, Joseph, thank you so much for You're coming welcome. In, in studio for a fun little update on fall colors. And don't forget to send us those pictures. Uh, or paintings. Or paintings. Yeah. Paintings especially. I want to see some paintings. That's a challenge to those watching. Send us some paintings. I, I love that idea, Joseph. Yeah. And uh, just for the people tuning in right now, give them a reminder where they can submit those pics. Uh, go to valleynewslive.com. Click on the Submit Your Photos and Videos tab that's on the left side of the news page. Beautiful. Thank you. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next time on Valley News Now.